Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually something totally different that I've never done here on my channel. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I did a complete makeover on our like dining room slash kitchen table. I've never done like a home or decor related video here on my channel before, but I was planning on redoing this table and I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to basically see a video on how I redid everything and so many people said yes, so I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you today. So the table and chair set that we have, we actually bought off of the previous owner of our home that lived here before. And I mean, it was fine. It's a nice sturdy wood table, but I just never really liked the color or the stain on it. It just wasn't really my style and I had been wanting to redo it for so long. And I am so obsessed with the way that it turned out. I just, I love it so much. It's so much more my style and it fits into my home so much better and I'm just obsessed. Also, I had never done anything like this, so I was very new to this whole process and was honestly like unsure if I was just gonna completely like botch our table, but thankfully everything turned out okay and I really, really, truly love the way that it turned out. I'm like seriously obsessed with the table. So, with all that being said, we're just gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna talk about how much I spent and things like that at the end of the video, but for now, let's just jump right into my DIY farmhouse table makeover. Alright guys, so here is most of my supplies. I got almost everything off of Amazon Prime. So everything that I did get off of Amazon, I'm just going to link down below in the description box. But the only other things that I didn't get off of Amazon were obviously the paint. I got a gallon of paint from my local paint store. I also picked up some latex gloves there. And then this drop cloth that you see on the ground I got from the dollar store as well as the scraper I'm going to be using to scrape off the stain is also from the dollar store. But everything else is from Amazon and I'll link it below. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using this citrus strip and I'm going to be putting it all over the top of the tabletop as well as like along the edges of the table because that is where I'm going to be restaining. As you can see, I already tested it out last night just to make sure it worked. So as you can see, the stain is already kind of removed from this area, but I'm going to be doing the rest of the table using this stuff and yeah. Alright guys, so I let all of this sit and now I am going to just take this scraper. This is actually from the dollar store and I'm just going to go through and scrape all the stain off. You'll just see how it just kind of like melts off. It's crazy. Do you guys see that? That's all the stain. So I stripped all of the stain using the citrus strip off of the table. Now I'm going to be using this and just a little rag. I cut up one of Matt's old t-shirts. So I'm using this to just kind of take off the rest of the residue, anything that's left over, and then I should be left with essentially like clean wood. So I let all that dry and now I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper and just give it like a light sand just to kind of buff everything out. Alright guys, so I just finished sanding the table. I feel like it's sanded enough, like buffed out enough to the point where I can 
go in with the stain. So I'm going to do that. I'm using the Mini Wax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain, and this is in the color Espresso. I really, really liked the pictures online of people who, who use this, like how the wood turned out. It's just like a really deep, dark, just very neutral brown, and I think it's so pretty. Although this wood is still looking pretty red, so I don't really know what's gonna happen. Again, this is my first time doing this, so it may have a red undertone, but I'm okay with that. I just want it to be darker, so we'll kind of see how it turns out. I'm definitely gonna do two coats, and I'm definitely most scared for this part. I feel like this is the easiest to mess up. I could be wrong, but if all goes to hell, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing with white, white chalk paint, so whatever, but I'm gonna get started with this. Alright, so I'm starting to lose light in this room, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys where I'm at. There's still a little bit of a second coat on there I still need to wipe off, but this, most of the table, has now had a second coat of the stain. So let me get a little closer. So this is what it looks like with two coats. I still need to do like a coat of poly on top, um, but this is what it looks like. It's still definitely reddish. I mean, there's no faking that there's still a lot of red in this table, which, you know, it is what it is. There was no way I was actually going to get rid of all of the red. Um, but it is definitely darker, and I really, really am actually loving the way that it's turning out. And there's also like some imperfections all in here. Um, we did buy this table off of the previous owner, and I know they had kids. So this table definitely has been loved, but I kind of like it. I like that it has like little gouges and scratches because it kind of is going for that more like rustic, um, just worn in and like, you know, loved kind of feel. So I'm really, really liking the way that it's turning out thus, thus far, but I really can't wait to paint the legs because I think once the legs are painted, it's really gonna make this tabletop pop. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at for now. I'm probably gonna do the coat of poly and then tomorrow I will be back and showing you guys painting the legs with my DIY chalk paint. And just for a fun comparison, this is actually the leaf to the table. And I was thinking I was gonna stain it, but I honestly don't even know if I'm going to, but you can see how much like more orange and red the leaf is, which it was at what which is how it was before. And then if you look at the table, it's definitely like darker, and you can see like the grain in the wood is really kind of brought out and um, by that stain, and it just looks definitely a lot different than that. <laughs> hey guys, so it is Officially day two of this project. I'm hoping that I can finish it up today. I'm thinking I'll be able to so Basically what I finished up yesterday was everything I showed you I finished the stain wiping off the stain everything like that And then I did go on with a coat of well it actually wasn't poly I kept saying poly it was like wood finish clear wood finish So I did go on with one coat or I put one coat of that on Apparently I do need to put some more coats on and they need like two hours in between to dry so I'm thinking I'm just gonna move on and do the legs first because I want I want to be able to tape off like the sections under the table so that I don't get any of the white paint on the newly stained like tabletop. And if I have like a clear, a, a fresh clear coat on there, I'm not gonna be able to tape it. So I'm hoping that doesn't make a difference. I'll just do the coats like later on today. Um, but yeah, so apparently I need to like sand in between the coats, but. That's all I left. All that's all I have left to do on the tabletop portion, and then I just need to finish the legs. So I'm gonna start by wiping them down with just like a Clorox wipe, so they're nice and clean, dirt-free, dust-free, and then I'm just gonna give them like a really quick sand. I know you don't have to sand with chalk paint, but I'm just gonna lightly sand them because why not? And it's not even that much wood to sand, so who really cares? And then I'm gonna be mixing up the DIY chalk paint. So 
let's get started with all of that. Alright guys, so I'm going to be mixing up this chalk paint. This is the paint I'm going to be using as the base. This is by Sherman Williams and it's called Alabaster. It's just like a creamy white color. I'm going to be measuring it out in this. This is a one and a half cup measuring cup and I need three cups of paint. And then I'm going to be pouring the three cups of paint in this empty paint quart. And then to make chalk paint, I'm going to be adding in this white mystery powder, which is actually calcium carbonate. It's 12 tablespoons of calcium carbonate. You need four tablespoons per every cup of paint. So I'm going to be putting the paint in here and then slowly adding this in and just mixing it up really, really well. I'm probably actually going to put the lid on it and then shake it up and then it should be good to go. So hopefully this doesn't go awry. So along here was where I was going to tape, so like this section would be taped off and I could just paint up to here. But I honestly think I'm just going to skip that step because the brush that I have, I feel like this brush I just have to be careful and I can really get in there and not get it all over the place. So I'm thinking I'm just going to skip the tape and start chalk painting this thing. So I just started working on the second coat. You can see this part right here has two coats and then this one has one. So you can definitely see it is really starting to come together and I mean I'm definitely seeing some bleed through. I'm sure I will even see some bleed through on the second coat but honestly I don't hate that. I kind of like that look. It's a little bit like more rustic I guess. Um, you can, I believe you can put like a layer of shellac all over the wood first before you chalk paint it if you don't want to have any bleed through. But I am definitely getting closer. I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting on the second coat. And then the only things left are, I believe, just to wax it. And then I still need to finish like the top, adding those clear coats on. So probably going to need another, another day, but getting very close. Hi guys, so it is now day three of the table makeover. And all I have left to do is I need to wax everywhere where I put the chalk paint. So wax over this white chalk paint. And then I also need to sand slash recoat um, the tabletop with the clear like wood finish. I need to do two more coats of that and you need to sand in between. So that I can definitely do today. But I just realized that I ran into a small issue. Let me grab the wax. So I bought the wrong wax essentially is what's going on. So let me show you guys real quick. So this is the wax that I bought and I didn't realize until I bought it and opened it up that it's actually orange and it's not clear. So 
I debated just using this anyway on top of the white. I did test a small area. You can't even tell on camera the difference, but where I did apply this wax, there is like a slight tint. It does, it just makes the wood look like aged and just not as like fresh and bright as, I don't know. I mean, it's not a huge difference and honestly, I probably could cover the whole thing with this and just like not really care about it, but I don't know. I just feel like I've worked so hard on this table and I'm just so excited about it and I'm afraid that if I coat the whole table in this wax that I'll be like disappointed in the end result. So I think it's worth it to hold off, like order a clear wax and just hold off for a few more days. But what I am going to do today is sand this down and put the coats on. I have to wait two hours in between each coat. So I'm going to finish that at least today and I'm gonna order some clear wax. So hopefully in like two or three days, I'll be able to finish this up and then I'll be, be able to finally finish this video so you guys can see the final product and see how everything is, how everything turned out. Um, so far I am loving it. As long as the wax, the clear wax doesn't change the color of the chalk paint, um, I will be so, so happy because I absolutely love the way that it looks right now. I just think, I mean, it looks like a whole different table, a brand new table. day four of this table adventure and I am finishing the table today. So yesterday I completed the tabletop. I put the two extra coats of the wood, clear wood finish that it needed. So the tabletop is completely done, sealed, ready to go. The only thing left is just to finish the legs. So yesterday the dilemma was I realized that the wax that I bought was the wrong color. It wasn't clear. It was more of an orange. You guys have already seen that. And Basically what I decided, this is going to be a complete 360 from what you just saw in this video like two seconds ago, but basically I just decided to go ahead and use the wax that I have, even if it changes the color, honestly, I mean, I don't think it's going to change the color that much, especially because I tested an area and it really wasn't that different at all. So I'm just, uh, I'm over it, I'm moving on, I'm just using the wax that I have. I was about to order a clear wax last night and I was like really mulling over the decision like, should I get one, should I not get one? Um, and just to be completely honest, I was just watching the news while also thinking about this and just seeing all the problems in the world and realized this is not a problem and I just need to like have a reality check and move on, which is exactly what happened. So I am just moving right along. Even if it's not perfect, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going for perfect anyway. So who cares? So I'm going to be using the wax that I already have and that's, that's the last thing I have to do. So I'm just going to be going through buffing out um, the wax onto the table uh, legs with an old like t-shirt. Um, apparently this is like the most strenuous of the whole chalk paint process, which I didn't know. So this should be fun, but let's get it done. So the wax is complete, I'm done with the wax. Now I'm just gonna go in with a clean t-shirt cloth and just buff over all of like the dried wax. Um, so I'm gonna do that, that shouldn't take long. And then the very last thing, I completely forgot about this step, but is just to go in and like sand a little bit to distress the table. I don't wanna do a whole lot, I just, I really like the way that it looks, so I'm almost afraid to change it, but I think I'll, I'll like it once it's sanded. So I'm just gonna buff everything out and then take a little bit of sandpaper. I think what I have is, 
220 grit. Hopefully that's like harsh enough. Um, but I'm just gonna go in and like lightly sand just to like distress edges and things like that just a little bit. Okay, so here is the completed table. It's still a mess on the floor, sorry about that. But this is the table all done. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up of the tabletop. So this is how the tabletop turned out, all finished. Don't mind the reflections on the table. Um, but one thing I did wanna show you guys, I have no idea what happened here. Literally no idea. I mean, obviously the stain soaked in much deeper or darker here. Um, so yeah, not really sure how that happened, but to be honest, I kind of like it. It was definitely a mistake. You can see it's not really anywhere else on the table. Sorry, it's actually sunny in here today for once. But I don't know, I think it kind of adds to like the reclaimed, old, lived in kind of feel. And it's super obvious when you're just looking at it, like what the hell happened here. But I think once I have like a table runner and a little bit of decor on this table, it will be not so obvious and will just kind of add to that like vintage -y, rustic feel. And then here's just kind of a close-up shot of the legs. Again, excuse the mess on the floor. But I just did very, very, very light distressing. I can always go back in and do more, but I didn't want to go too overboard because I really like how clean it looks. But I do like that there's a little bit of distressing going on, just enough. Also, do you see Rosie back there? Hi, Rosie. Baby. So that is everything guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching my table makeover. It honestly, like I said, it turned out so beautiful and I'm just obsessed with it. And again, I will be linking all of the supplies that I got online down below. I got pretty much everything online. I just picked up a couple things at local stores. So everything that I can link below, I will link below. And then as far as how much I spent, Overall, I think I spent on all of the supplies total, I spent I think just around like $130. But I also didn't use, like all of the things I bought, I didn't even use half of pretty much all of them. So the actual cost of redoing this table was like definitely I would say like under $70 just based on like the actual stuff that I use, probably even less. But I think that's a safe bet. So. I mean, this table looks really awesome, at least in my opinion, and it only cost me about $70 to pull it off. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I plan on doing other DIY projects similar to this, like with little tables and things like that, that I want to redo. So if you want to see videos on those pieces as well, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, once my house is very slowly coming together, I've mentioned before, I am taking my sweet time with decorating my house. So I think like as I finish off a room, maybe I'll do like a tour of that room. So the first one would probably be like a living room tour because we, I just did this table and I'm gonna be doing the chairs eventually. And then also we're just, we ordered a bunch of new stuff for that space. So let me know if you guys would wanna see those in the future as well. But that is all I have for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and if you, if you aren't already. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to join my little community here on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye.